Hello, all you creative people, and welcome to another video. And welcome to this new video. This a new announcement video. This is the second of uh, announcement video on the Creative Coders channel, and it's a pretty important one. So, as many of you may have noticed, I haven't released a video. I didn't release a video last week, and it's for good reason. Uh, last week I had the had a surgery. I kind of intertwined with the date that I was meant to release the video. There's going to be a video coming out next week, but um, yeah, I I happen to have a lot of surgeries, and the reason for this channel is also partially related to my life of surgeries. Because you see, at the time when this channel was created, I had a surgery, and that kind of freed up a bunch of time for me to focus on programming. I decided what better way to focus on programming than to release, than to make a then to make devlogs this new game I'm creating, this new fun idea I have for a game. And that's when the first movement video came out. Funny story about that video. Um, movement is actually just, when I was creating the um, thumbnail for that video, it was actually meant to be about, it was, that it was meant to say movement. But the issue is, the T was cut out. So I ended up reading movement and at the time I was way too lazy to change it so I just stuck with it. So the first devlog was meant to be called movement devlog number one because there's a devlog focusing on movement. But yeah, that's just a funny story about how movement ended up becoming the name of my second, if not my third biggest series on this channel. As you guys may have known recently. I've been focusing on the coding challenges series and the frontline series on my channel, mostly because they've been doing really well. And I'm planning on releasing a new series as well. In fact, it'll be coming out this Saturday, so not too many days to wait. This video is recorded on Thursday, the 8th of December, and should be out by Thursday, the 8th of December, sometime then. So, yeah. But about that new releasing a new series type thing. Movement series has been kind of slipping. Since its first day of vlog, the views have been slowly decreasing and decreasing and decreasing. That has been a problem for all now. I'm thinking that people have lost interest in the series and I think it's better that Creative Coders moves away from movement for the meantime, so I'm planning on not releasing any more movement devlogs, at least for this year. I know this contradicts a, a lot of what I've been saying, but as I've looked through it, it makes no sense to give up or to uh, to give up on the, on the co uh, Creative Coding Challenger series or the Frontline series. Because yeah, they're just way, way more successful, get way more views, way more loved. So I'm going to stick to those series, at least for this year. And movement isn't gone. It's purely being delayed. And when it comes back, I'm planning from me starting from scratch. This isn't the story of the indie dev giving up on their dream FPS game. No, no, no. This is just me giving it a break. And coming in with a fresh head because movement's development has been pretty rough. Like now, I've gotten better at releasing games, at developing games. But at the time when I was starting movement, it was way, way out of, out of my resources and understanding of the Unity game engine. And it's been a fun experience. It's taught me a lot about how to create Unity games and all the different steps it takes and that type of stuff. And now what I've learned is you need to have a plan for your game from the beginning. Movement never really had a plan. At the beginning, sure, I said it was probably going to be similar to a Titanfall game if Respawn ever releases one. Or at least like a multiplayer, like similar to Titanfall 1 except low poly and made with the Unity game engine instead of um, Source game engine. And that was the plan for a while. And then I realized, hey, there's a bunch of upcoming games competing on the exact industry, industry, excluding Apex Legends. Now, now it's season 15. There's now Warzone 2. Um, Overwatch 2 came out. 
Valorant has been blowing up. People still love CSGO. It's, the industry is completely overfilled. So I, so I tried to tilt movement into a survival game. Yes, there might not have been many devlogs on that bit because it was just like me doing it. I was meant to probably release it on this devlog, but I did not, or at least I haven't. So yeah, I tried to turn it into a survival game, which is a less competitive industry when it comes to this, and I could use some of the assets I created I used before, but now I had a miss. A mix match of different FPS multiplayer uh, assets and a bunch of survival game assets, and it gets confusing. Movement ends up being like four gigs big, and it's it's way too it's the scope is way too big now. And I need to reset, start from the beginning if I'm ever going to release movement uh, fully. So I'm planning on doing that when I uh, when I restart movement devlogs, which will be happening next year. I can't give you an exact date. I'm planning mid um, mid year next uh, year. But yes, um, this channel is still gonna stay up. We're just refocusing on frontline and the coding challenges series because that's where that's what you guys are enjoying, and I'm going to release what you guys are enjoying, and not what I enjoy making mostly. Even though I I love creating frontline, it's a great game. There's going to be an update on the week after next because this week, on Saturday, as I said, I'm releasing the video on this new kind of game I'm creating that is slightly, slightly based off of the gameplay that I was playing before you. So, yeah, that has been the second announcement video ever. I hope you guys have enjoyed movement so far. And Woven is still the heart and core of creative code, so I will not be going anywhere. I'll see you guys in the next one on Saturday. Goodbye. And remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and all that. Bye.